and Bubba became besties quickly, and then to my surprise, a little more than besties. They'd be, you know, holding hands under the table secretly. They'd be giving the, each other those doe eyes and those cheesy grins, but they were so adorable. They'd be over there getting lost in each other's eyes. Sparks would be flying, and I'd just be like, guys, I'm still here, right across the table. Uh, my story with Bubba goes back to second grade. Um, we, we were doing the math on it. It's been about 20 years that we've known each other. We used to be roughly the same size, but I stopped growing and he <laughs> kept growing. Uh, and if he stands up, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm, I've been the same grade or same height since eighth grade and this guy <laughs> is still rocking it. So in that 20 years of being, being friends, uh, Marty and Verdon and Philip and Jack, everybody, We've grown up together, and that's a crazy, cool thing to have to say that, you know, you're a brother to me and to all these guys here. When you and Jordan met, it was it was crazy. It was, you guys loved each other right off the bat. I mean, I feel like she definitely loved you right off the bat, maybe warming up, I don't know, but you guys, you guys looked and felt great. And, and with Hadley, I've never seen Bubba so, so happy and energetic and excited about you know being a part of something and this today sums it all up beautifully um you're you're a beautiful family so in shortness of my speech here let's raise our glasses and uh toast to a beautiful life and a happy marriage may god bless you Bubba, I'm so, so excited that our day is finally here. The past five years have been the best years of my life and I owe all of that to you. When you met me, I couldn't have been more lost and broken. You picked me up and helped me, built me to where I am today. Because of you, I've been able to flourish, not only as a friend, but also as a mother. I had no idea that a simple friendship would map out the rest of my life, but I'm so thankful that it did. Thank you for not only accepting me, but for loving me and Hadley unconditionally. You're an amazing man and an amazing dad. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. I, Bubba, take you, Jordan, to be my wife. I, Bubba, take you, Jordan, to be my wife. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. That has no beginning. Has no beginning. And has no end. No end. I, Jordan, take you, Bubba, to be my husband. I, Jordan, take you, Bubba, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health. 
to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. until death do we part. Until death. By the power vested in me by the state of Texas, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations. so much and become the most beautiful family. I am so proud of these two people, especially Jordan. I mean, you amaze me. You've created this beautiful photography business at the same time holding another job and being an amazing mother. Both of y'all have done such an amazing job at raising Hadley. She is such a beautiful, sweet, and caring little girl. She is so lucky to have y'all. And I know that y'all feel so lucky to have her. I love the three of y'all so much, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for y'all. So may we raise a toast to the happy couple. May y'all live happily ever after.